Welcome back to the Valentina Diva semifinals. This season's Valentina Diva fashion show is sure to be one to remember. We've got big name models running the show this year. All right, coast seems to be clear. The next supermodel to... This is my chance, and go! Is that Sophia Cassidy? Let's get her for an interview. Oh no, hurry, Sophia! Sweetie, crouch down! Oh my gosh, that was way too close. So, I saw the news. One of the next Valentina Divas is standing right in front of me. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that. What do you have to talk about? Do it, Mom. This is going to be a huge milestone in your career but and- you do know what this means. This means I'm going to be in Paris for months of brutal fitness training, dealing with the drama of dorming with those peppy youngsters and- <sighs> What am I supposed to do with you? I can come with you. And hide like a bat in the limo for eight months? They're going to find you. And once they find you, they'll do the math and... Ugh. I already lie about my age enough. I'll lose everything I've ever worked for. No, Mom. I can hide. Really. Besides, you're almost 15. If you were living a normal life, you'd be entering high school this fall. What if you could? But no one knows about me. Who would just suddenly take me in like some abandoned puppy? There is one person. That knows about me? How? I can't believe I have to do this. What do you want this time? Melissa, hey. I heard you got your cafe up and running recently. Mom, you're crazy. You make so many decisions without even thinking it through. You need me. I need you. I've lived my whole life with you. How am I supposed to leave you so suddenly? Trust me on this, okay? <laughs> you always say that. Remember that time I trusted you when you said tanning with sunglasses would be a good idea? Don't remind me of my inverted panda phase. <laughs> <laughs> Call me every night. You've got high demand supermodel Sophia Cassidy on the line, so you better pick up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got all day! <sighs> Time for my beautiful Amber to take on the world. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. this really the start of my new life? No more hiding. No more sleeping in the limo. A normal life. My new life begins in the attic of Aunt Melissa's cafe. I've spent my whole life reading books and writing stories about teenagers in high school. How hard could it be? whip it out It's the first day of school for kids around the nation, including here in sunny Skyview. So buckle up, kids, and get ready to rumble! OMG, Luke Brown just posted. Claire, you are late! Wait! Ugh, notice me, Luke! Shadow Girl 7, live streaming a match tonight. But for now, peace! What am I supposed to do on the first day? Bonjour, my lovely chauffeur. Come on, Claire! Ah. Get 
in, silly. <laughs> so according to the books I've read, there's supposed to be a bus. It, is it that smelly thing? <laughs> they weren't kidding when they said Skyview kids were either super smart Seriously? It's a question asking distance or displacement. I took the integral of the absolute or value. super rich. Oh my god, I love your outfit. Now yours. I love my outfit. Wait, what? Hey. What? <laughs> Isn't that him? I still remember the first time I saw him. What you writing over there? Oh, sorry, let me... <gasps> no way! You read Harold Porter? <laughs> this is only my eighth time rereading it. Wow, more than me. I thought only nerds like me reread books that often. You calling me a nerd? Nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm proud of it. <laughs> Anyways, I just like a small iced coffee, please. Coming right up. Um, but seriously, what were you writing? Well, it's a short story I've been working on. Mind if I read it a bit? Um, no one has ever read my work, but sure. <laughs> this was great. I do think Joe needs a bit more character development, though. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. Have I really been the only one who's ever read your work? Um, yeah. You should enter these into contests. I think you do really well. Really? Oh my, I'm running late. I got carried away. Thanks for the coffee. Bye. Wow, did I just make a friend? He came to the cafe several times each week. It was nice having a conversation with someone other than my mom and aunt. Wait, is he with her? Ugh! You messed up my latte! Incompetent! Where's my first class anyway? I better hurry. Come on, Amber, think! What do normal people do? Hi, I'm Amber! Oh, I thought humans responded to each other. <laughs> Here you go, ma'am. Whoa, no! Ugh, ew. But no time to go back in line. I can probably still eat it, right? Where is a private limo when you need one? Where do I sit? The movies always made making friends seem so easy. But here I was, so lonely in this crowded lunchroom. So I decided to go somewhere less crowded. Because if I was lonely, at least I'd be lonely by myself. Um, nice salad? <gasps> Wait, I'm sorry if I scared you. Are you eating? Um, yes. Hey, me too. Um, do you want to eat together? Well, it's just me here, so why not? Also, I think someone just had diarrhea in here, so we should leave. <laughs> Let's head out. Oh, um, by the way, I'm Amber. Sorry, I've never been to a real school before. Homeschooled? I can tell. <laughs> I'm Claire. I can help you navigate high school. Nice to meet someone decent around here. 
it's her, right? Excuse me, do I know you? Oh, um, just a bit dazed. Sorry. By the way, in high school, you shouldn't stare at people for that long. Oh, I see. So, she doesn't remember me. Can't blame her. I've only ever known my mom my entire life. So ever since working at the cafe, I've literally remembered every face I met. Whereas she... She's probably lived a whole life with stories of her own, while all I've had were stories of other people. I can't believe Lucas didn't reply to your text yet. Who does he think he is? Am I not good enough? Not good enough. Honey, you are gorgeous, rich, and have a fast pass to fame because of your dad. Don't ever think that. One day, you'll even be as big as Sophia. I'm gonna defeat the ultra monster tonight! Woohoo! <laughs> Look at those geek gamers, rotting their brains and social life at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, how was your first day at school? It was fine. I made a friend. I knew you could do it. Humans aren't so scary after all, right? They kind of are, especially high schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you still want to work here during school? Yep, I'll just do homework during downtimes. Oh, you know, it's nice having you around at the cafe. Aunt Melissa never had a family of her own, but found one through the Galaxy Cafe. I love it here. For the first time, I don't have to hide from everyone. The people here give me ideas for my own stories. I wonder if he's coming today. Are you guys still open? 